Hello, I'm Sergeant Tommy Thompson of the Phoenix Police Department Public Affairs Bureau. I'm here at the gravesite of William Hazelton Birch. Hayes Birch was the first Phoenix police officer to die in the line of duty when he was shot on February the 5th, 1925. Shortly after midnight, Hayes Birch was on patrol in the area near 7th Street and Jefferson. He saw a car and there were two young men in their eight, 18 to 20 years old who were siphoning gas from that vehicle. When he approached those uh, two men that were siphoning gas from a car, the first thing he said to them was, good evening boys, just in an attempt to not be, uh, uh, not to alarm them or not to uh, rile them up. Uh, it didn't work out very well. He didn't realize that the two men he was talking to, who were Will Lawrence and his brother Babe, were wanted in connection with the murders of two other police officers, one in Texas and one in Montana. And when he went to contact those in individuals, and as he realized he was gonna have to arrest them, he was putting a handcuff on, when Will turned and pulled a gun and aimed it at Hayes. And unfortunately, he shot. Dad uh, actually heard the gunshots, and it, it frightened him. He was only five, and so he ran in to his mom's bedroom, uh, and she told him, I think that's your dad. It was a, it was a small town, and uh, gunshots weren't heard. So uh, he was the officer on duty, he was patrolling in a Model, Model T, I think. And he sat on her bed and they waited. And eventually, police officers came to the house and informed them that, uh, that he'd been shot. Now, before Hayes died, on the day that he was shot, he told the police chief, he said, I'm a goner, I'm hurt pretty bad. Please take care of my wife and my babies. I'm not gonna make it. Those words hit the heart of anybody that hears them to know that you've got a young officer who's out doing his job and mortally wounded and he knew it was gonna happen. He died later that evening at about 7 p.m. And today, the reason we're here is to make sure that people understand that this is the location where a hero in our community lies, the first Phoenix police officer to lose his life in the ultimate sacrifice while dying in the line of duty. We started looking into where was his headstone at and, and what was wrong with it. So we, being trained investigators, we found the headstone, we sent some people down here, we took pictures of it, put it back out on, on Facebook, and uh, one of our retired detectives, Patty Galt, works with the Arizona Historical Society, and she says, hey, I think I know some people that can help us restore that. We submitted a grant to the Officer Down Memorial page, and they gave us a grant back to help offset the cost of this new memorial. The headstone's been restored. It's about as good as it's gonna get, according to the Arizona Historical Society. It's a lot better than when we were first here, because you could rock it back and forth. We're gonna put a memorial in the ground, in cement, right at the base of it, it's, it's very simple, very much like this, but it'll be today's generation of memorials. It'll be a marble headstone that'll memorialize Hayes Birch, the first Phoenix police officer killed in the line of duty. The dedication of the memorial marker will take place on Sunday, March the 15th at 1 p.m. here at Greenwood Memory Lawn. Again, this is at 2300 West Van Buren, and the media and the community are invited to attend this important event.